of Normandy broke well, so did the Heights and Miller's right. My Spirit's on the move. In the center is Profound Impact. Winnemac Avenue is next, and Macho Via Sun Thunder at the rail moon over Dubai, and just outside of him, hard to come by. The two trailers are King Russell, and the trailer at the back of the pack is running block. To the back stretch they run, and Miller's right is the leader. He's a length in front of Seas of Normandy in second. Then to the inside, and the Heights, third and about two from the front, then Profound Impact. Winnemac Avenue is alongside My Spirit. They're both about four from the front and two in front of Sun Thunder, Macho Via, and in the center, hard to come by. Another two and a half back to King Russell and Moon over Dubai. The trailer is still running block midway on the backstretch. Finish line 16th pole, and Miller's Wright is getting there first. It is Miller's Wright, three quarters of a length, two the outside and seas of Normandy and here's profound impact three deep these three right across the racetrack two and a half back to the Heights Winnemac Avenue and my spirit Sun Thunder is seventh but he's advancing here's Sun Thunder in the green cap could be heard from yet late here's Sun Thunder now moving strongly and Sun Thunder is going to make a big rush all the way up to go from seventh to the front at the top of the stretch a monster move from Sun Thunder who suddenly lands three lengths in front. The Heights has moved up on the outside, then comes Seas of Normandy, but it's Sun Thunder and he is dominating. Sun Thunder, the Heights, King Russell up into second now, Sun Thunder in front. Big win for Sun Thunder, he won by seven. King Russell was second, Seas of Normandy third, close for fourth between Winnemac Avenue and Miller's right. They're up. Arabian Knight could not have broken any better. Right to the front from a hard scent, Frosted Departure. And Frosted Departure is going to make the favorite work early. Arabian Knight leads the length. Frosted Departure is second, El Tomate away in third. Then Corona Bolt and Stablemate, Jace's Road. They both have about four lengths to make up. Western Gen and Sun Thunder are next, and the trailer is Red Route 1 as they turned into the backstretch in the 58th running of the Southwest Stakes and Arabian Knight is strong. He leads by a length and a half from Frosted Departure, who did everything he could do to press this front running favorite, but now he'll have to sit second, two lengths behind, Arabian Knight and John Velasquez. El Tomate to the outside is third. Corona Bolt rides the rail for Flavian Pratt. He's fourth and two and a half lengths off the lead. Then Sun Thunder, a three wide Jace's Road and Western Gent between horses. 10 lengths last, two, red route one, three furlongs to go in the southwest. Arabian Knight has the lead. He is a length and a half in front of Frosted Departure in second. 
Now to the outside, here's Jace's Road to put in a nice run. And Jace's Road is within two lengths of the lead. Corona Bolt has dropped back. Sun Thunder has five to make up. Arabian Knight and Frosted Departure one, two. Jace's Road has flattened out. So Arabian Knight and Frosted Departure are the two off the top of the turn. Arabian Knight a length in front of Frosted Departure in second. Here is Red Route 1 erupting from the back of the pack, but he is still six lengths behind his front running favorite, Arabian Knight. And now he's four in front. Red Route 1 might get second. He will not win the Southwest. That winner is Arabian Knight. Arabian Knight won by six lengths. Red Route 1 did get second. Frosted Departure third. Sun Thunder fourth. And it's still on. In the Risen Star Stakes, Shaq Diesel going out toward the lead. Here's Determinedly Speed. Right there is Harlow Cap along with Victory Formation. And Private Creed also comes up on the outside. Scramble on to the first turn. It's Determinedly Harlow Cap and three wide victory formation in the red cap as they round the first turn with seven for longs to run. Shaq Diesel in fourth with on the outside. Private Creed in fifth as these leaders go to the back of the track. Curly Jack is a ground saving six. Two fills seventh in between horses. Then comes the gray silver heist with Angel of Empire saving ground. A break of two more to tap its conquest. Who's two in front of Sun Thunder. Single ruler we trail back to quiet at midnight to the maiden. Kruby has drifted back to be 14th and last. The first two of nine furlongs covered in 23.34 seconds. They have five furlongs to run, and it's determinedly. The leads here for Relu Gutierrez, determinedly in front, tracked by Harlow Cap, Shaq Diesel in third. Victory formation in the clear from fourth as they go past the half mile pole now in the Risen Star Stakes. Two fills looks to gain in between horses. As they round the far turn, Private Creed is wide. Curly Jack buried toward the inside. Angel of Empire starts to gain. Angel of Empire moving up in between horses. With inside three furlongs to go, the half mile went in 47.50 seconds. Three quarters in one minute 12.21 seconds. These leaders coming toward the quarter pole. It's Harlow Cap as two fills looms up on the outside. Toward the rail, looking to stay this pace as they straighten for home is determinedly with under a quarter of a mile to run. Coming down to the final furlong, two fills, Harlow Cap. Sun Thunder gets through toward the inside as they come down toward the final 16th. Getting in between horses, Angel of Empire. And farther out is Tabbitt's Conquest, who's also mustering a late rally past the 16th. And here's Angel of Empire for Luis Saez. Angel of Empire in the Risen Star Stakes. Angel of Empire has won it from Sun Thunder. Two fills, third, Tabbitt's Conquest, fourth. Single Ruler was fifth. Groupie fast passed a few of them home, including Harlow, Cap, and Determinedly. Mile and three sixteenths. Here we go in the gate. They're off the 2023 Twinspires.com Louisiana Derby. And uh, there goes Kings Barnes. It's Kings Barnes who's come right to the front. Shoppers revenge the gray with the rail, and Jace's Road starts an early bid, and Cayostro, after breaking through the gate prior to the start, also up close, but it's Kings Barnes. So Kings Barnes joined by Jace's Road as they head toward the first turn. Shoppers revenge a bid, Frank. Cayostro running in fourth. Single ruler is fifth. Tabbitt's conquest a wide sixth. In the meantime, Disarm is a ground-saving seventh. Disarm right at Shoppers Revenge Heels. They have seven furlongs to run. Sun Thunder settled in the back half of the field, clear of Dennington. Then comes Instant Coffee. Instant Coffee is running in 10th. Curling Jack is 11th, and late running baseline beater trails the dozen. As they go to the back of the track, 24.71 for the lead part. Now at the five and a half, and it's Kings Barnes. So Kings Barnes is in the leading role. Kings Barnes in front. Lanes here three quarters length to a close up. Chases Road, who chases the pace. Shoppers Revenge saving ground in third, Kyostro fourth. Single Ruler is a close fifth. Then Disarm, right there still biding time is Disarm. On the rail, five legs off this leader, Kings Barnes. Then comes Dennington with Tappet's Conquest, Sun Thunder, Instant Coffee, Curly Jack, the trailer remains, baseline beater. Half mile went in 49.60 seconds. Three quarters for Kings Barnes, the son of Uncle Mo. One minute 14.69 seconds, but now with inside three furlongs to go. It's Kings Barnes. Jace's Road now launching this bid. Kyostro is a close third with Dennington in fourth. 
Shopper's Revenge, single ruler, Ed looking to gain on the far outside as they straight away as Instant Coffee has the black cap. In the meantime, it's still Kings Barnes. Kings Barnes, one for long to go. And Kings Barnes looking to finish them off in the Louisiana Derby. And Kings Barnes has opened up five lengths now on Disarm, who's gained second from Jason's Road. Shopper's Revenge, Instant Coffee is next, but it's Kings Barnes and Flavian Pratt. Kings Barnes undefeated, three for three. Kings Barnes one by four from Disarm. Jason's Road was next, then Sun Thunder, Shopper's Revenge, Instant Coffee, and Tabbit's Conquest. Kings Barnes goes wire to wire. They are at the post. And they're off in the Toyota Bluegrass. Tappet Trice is moving out the center of the track at the midpoint of the back stretch. Has Mendelssohn's March right there to his end side. They stack up outside of Major Blue. Classic car wash down toward the rail behind them. Tight traffic headed to the far turn as Clear the Air continues to show the way in 48.04 seconds. Clear the Air leads it farm and partner Gainsway Stable. Trained by Todd Fletcher, ridden by Luis Saez. One minute, 50 seconds left. Thank you.